Okay, these are the tools you're going to need to scrap these uh, focus electric meters. You're going to need a pair of side cutters, needle nose pliers, a pair of 8 inch regular gas pliers, or pliers, a small tip Phillips screwdriver, and a straight screwdriver. Now the straight screwdriver does nothing except uses a pry bar, so you want a good shank on it, and a pair of heavy gloves. Okay, now this is how I sort the material, as you can see, I've done a few. This is your tabs you break off and your uh, line voltage. The small cans for the little screws on the back of the meter. These are the pickups and the jumpers off the back. This is the little stainless steel tab that's on the back you have to break off. These are the LCD screens. This is where I put the turtle uh, board. These are the jumper wires for the turtle board. These are the induction coils. This is the big can for the screws that hold the boards in. And these are the main boards. That's how I sort it. You can sort it any way you want to, as long as it's convenient for you. Don't forget your safety glasses. A lot of little pieces of plastic in here it can easily jump off and hit you. I've got my safety glasses on now. Next we're going to do actually scrap a meter. Okay, this is the way you're going to get your meter. It's going to look just like this. Turn it over and sometimes they have a little tiny aluminum strip somewhere around this ring. Break the tab off, it's like a safety lock, and pull it out to scrap aluminum. Take your meter Give it a partial turn, counterclockwise, take off the lens. Lens is a good container to uh, sort parts in, as you can see what I did. Okay, this is a Focus KW meter. This is the kind they use in houses around the country. There's another style called a turtle meter, and we'll do that pretty soon. It's identical, except it has one extra board in it to transmit the signal back to the office. Um, uh, for remote areas like cabins, hunting lodges, cattle pumps. Okay, turn it over. Take your needle nose pliers, break off this piece. Stainless steel, throw it in the scrap. Get your uh, Phillips screwdriver, take out these two screws. This little shorting thing is yellow brass. Throw it in the yellow brass. Put on your gloves. You can do it barehanded, but your fingers will get tired. Take your pliers, hold it like this. I use the meter as the leverage point and break these off. You'll never be able to push these little tabs back and take it apart, uh, take them out whole. Break them off. The meter is larger, easy leverage. Okay, throw them in your number two copper. Turn the meter so the data plate is away from you and forward. Take your flat screwdriver, your pry bar, stick it in here, give it a little twist. Be leaving your glove on, you can kind of put the edge of it in there to keep it open. There's the inside of the meter. Pull this little plug. Set this aside for a second. We're going to work on this. Take either of your pliers. Grab this tab. Pull it up and out. That one's always the worst one. Take your regular screwdriver. Move your pigtail away. Use this little post. Pry it up. Pry it up. These don't always want to come out, as you can see. Sometimes they come out easy, sometimes they come out hard. Okay, this happens sometimes. You get a piece stuck in there. Turn it over, take your Phillips screwdriver, give it a bunch, knock it out. If you can recycle this hard plastic, I can't, throw it in the proper bin. They should, colors should be separated. Take your piece you just took out, turn it upside down, take your needle nose pliers, and pull these connectors off. Fiddle with these things a while 
and they will come out. This is an induction coil. Put it with the induction coil pile you saw before. Okay, bring back the rest of your meter. There are three screws. One here, one here, either side of the capacitor, and one hidden back here. Take the screws out. Put them in their container. The tall container is what I use. Long screws, tall container, short screws. There you can see that screw a little better behind the transformer. Okay, take your flat screwdriver, there's a little tiny locking tab right there. Push it down, break it out of the way. Sometimes there's another tab right here. You can put that over with your finger. Hang on to this. Don't try to get it out using the transformer. You'll break it off. Turn it upside down. Take your screw out. Okay, screw fell in there. Dump it out. Put it in the screw pile. Put your board, which has salvageable parts, in the board pile. Now, the only thing left in there is this LED or LCD, liquid crystal display. And I've never been able to figure out how they got them in there, much less get them out. So I do it the caveman way. Break off these two tabs carefully. Grab it very carefully. Don't get into the black part. And break this out. Sometimes this comes out hard. Be real careful. Push this up and pull it out. Do not separate this rubber part from the glass. If you do, it's no good. Put it in the recycle pile or a usable pile. Again, if you're recycling this plastic, put it in the white container. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do the turtle meter, which is identical. I've already done most of the work. The difference is there's a little picture of a turtle right there. This is the one used on remote locations. When you open it up, see it's got a couple extra wires and an extra board in it. So just rig it around. Pull the wires off the pickup leads. I'm going to set this aside because it comes apart the same way. <clears throat> Orient it like this. Unplug this jumper strap. Put it over here. There's three screws. One by the turtle, one down by these wires, and one in back. Take them out. They're just the same size as the other screws so they can go in the same bin. There's a little tab right over here on the left by the turtle. Press it out of the way. Pick this up. Turn it upside down. Punch out your screw. Now since we're scrapping these out, take your side cutters or your dikes and cut these wires. Now these jumpers, if you have somebody doing electronics uh, or modifications or making something, these jumper wires may be a sellable item. For me it's not. It goes in the scrap. This is a different board. They go by themselves. They're recycled. Now we're back to the exact same place we were before with a standard meter. They're pretty easy to recycle. You're going to run into a few little odd things. Sometimes the screw will not come out of the jumper. So you just make sure you don't throw it in yet. Take it. Break off the part with the screw. That goes in the co uh, dirty copper. This goes in with your other mark with your other light copper. Also on your LCDs if you can see in the corners around here they're starting to get black. As a meter reader I know from experience when this happens eventually this whole thing is going to go out and go bad. So don't even try to salvage it just throw it in the scrap. That's it. You've just recycled your meters and I've done five or six hundred of them. You run into all little problems here and there. Uh, you just have to work around them. Thank you.